Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to do something a little bit different, and I'm going to actually challenge you to try and figure out something that I struggled with for a bit. Uh, so let's take a look here. I was looking at this. This is a fiducial. If you don't know, fiducial basically is used by uh, assembly houses in order to center on it so that the basically the optical inspection would come over, find this kind of shape, say, okay, here's the center of this, here's a circle, here's the center, there's a circle inside of it, let's find the center of that circle. And, uh, and basically it's used as a way to align the rest of the board. So you usually put like th you know, three or more of these on a board and that allows it to do the math in case the board is slightly rotated or uh, you know, where it is in, in free space. Usually because the, uh, the board's, usually the board's like on a rail and so if it's, if it's a little bit you know, like this, then it needs to know, okay, well, everything's gonna rotate in free space so we know when we're placing parts, we're gonna place a little bit and this needs to be pretty precise. So that's kind of where that's coming from. Uh, so I needed to change this out, and if you see all of these, uh, all of these fiducials here, um, there's there's just a, a, a bunch of different ones you can you can play with, right? So I, I needed to change one for uh, manufacturer was asking me about one, so that's fine, and uh, and I was I was like, okay, well I need to go and and change this now. Okay, so let's let's take a look at this thing, and we take a look at the uh, the the setup here. Well, first off, if you want to do this, uh, go, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and make this, instead of a 1.5 um, middle hole and a, a 4.5 outer, outer solder mesh clearance, we're going to try and make this a 1, a one, hole, a one millimeter center hole with a 2 millimeter clearance. And uh, so go and do that. If you're, if you're interested in doing this, go, go and do that right now. And yeah, let us know down below if, you're, if you've got it right away. Um, so I'm going to take take you ahead a little bit here and uh, and show you what I was doing. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> so uh, let's let's take a look at this thing. Really, there's not much here. If I highlight it, right? Obviously, I can get the different pieces here. Mousing over, trying to hit E, see what's here. There's not much here, really. There is an outer line, it looks like. So there's a circle that's drawn in the uh, the courtyard layer. That makes sense. There is a second line here. This is on the fab layer, so this is just another circle, 0.1 millimeter thickness. And then finally, there's the pad itself. There's two things that are mentioned here. One is the text. That's just because it's it's uh, the reference is centered here. And then there's the pad. Okay, let's go and edit that. And you can see I was trying to, <laughs> yee, <laughs> I was trying to edit that stuff there. Okay, so when we look at this pad, uh, I was looking for, well, how do I change? This? So the outside thing is 4.5 millimeters, right? So I'm looking for something that's going to change the outside the outside uh, solder mesh clearance. And that's the pink part is the solder mesh clearance. We turn that on or off here. Okay, so uh, we have the pad here. Uh, it's at zero, zero is the center position. The size is 1.5, that's the center hole. And then everything else, I, I'm going to look for that, that uh, 4.5 uh, size shape, right? That's what I was looking for here. So let's look in pr custom primitive. There's nothing custom here. Clearance here, it looks like 1.5 is everywhere we look. And then uh, yeah, then we have the size of the pad. So this is where this is where I was getting caught up here. So I was looking at everything as 1.5, and uh, and I I just couldn't find it. So what I then did is I went and looked at the uh, the there it is the code right. So this is the code for that actual uh, thing here. And so again, I was searching for 4.5 right, looking through here, and it's only in the text here. So what is going on? So then I looked at so you know sometimes I'll do this. Well, I'll look at the actual um, footprint. Uh, text. You don't need to do this by any stretch of the imagination. I was just kind of struggling, so I did that. So this is the main thing that's defining that center pad there. And the only thing that I just don't see 4.5 anywhere. So what's really going on here? Well, the thing that's tricky, and here's the, the catch, so stop here if you want to go and figure it out yourself. Uh, the thing here is that there is no 4.5. In fact, the, the thing that some of you might have done, the thing that you might be looking at right now, you'd be like, well, what's the problem here, Chris? Uh, nothing looks hard about this. Well, the, uh, the thing you might have seen is if you change this to one, like we said, what's going to happen now? Well, uh, it shrunk, but what's really happening here is that it shrunk, but it just shrunk relative, and it's it's not it's not showing everything in the absolute mode, right? So it actually zoomed in when it did that. It's actually the clearance that's happening right now. So what we just did, we changed this from 1.5 to one, right? And now it it uh, now the outer diameter is actually is four instead of four point uh, is four instead of four point five. Do you see why? That's because it's actually this. It's the clearance here. This is actually the the function that I was wondering about. So the clearance. If we want to make it a one millimeter with a two millimeter width on either side, we need to go like this. Point five. 
And now that's one millimeter in the middle and two millimeters total. And that's what I was getting wrong here. So, and not, and I just give it as an example here. You wouldn't necessarily want to do that. You usually want a smaller hole in the middle than the, than the larger, uh, the larger center pad. So you'd probably want to do something more like this. There we go. And so now this looks like this is actually now one millimeter with three millimeters total is because on either side now is one millimeter, right? So uh, basically that was my, that was my little trick here, but it was one of those things where it's such a minimal, uh, minimalistic footprint that what else could I change here? And that's kind of the lesson I wanted to, to impart here today is that sometimes with, uh, with footprints, it's, it's not, it's kind of the off, uh, it's, it's not necessarily what you think it's going to be when you're starting to modify things. So in this case, it was the solder mask clearance. It might also be like the solder paste clearance, or it might be things like uh, there's a custom shape you don't know about. Sometimes it's going to be, uh, sometimes, especially in KiKit, there's going to be some smaller, smaller changes, and you're not sure. You're just going to have to have a kind of poke around and figure out which, uh, which features are actually controlling the, the thing that you're, you're trying to change here, in this case, the footprint. So I'm not sure if that's a great lesson, but uh, it's definitely something that tripped me up, so I thought it might be interesting to put it out to you. Like I said, hope you, hopefully you put the uh, comment down below if you saw it. would love to know if you thought it was easy, hard, if I'm crazy. Uh, doesn't matter to me. Uh, hope you enjoy these uh, videos. These are just short videos here on Contextual Electronics. We do more stuff with layout over on contextualelectronics.com, and you can always go to the forum, forum.contextualelectronics.com. If you want to learn about KiCad, you can go to the KiCad forum. That's forum.kiCad.info. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.